story in Killzone 3, I'll say it right here, I didn't really particularly like the story. I thought it was an okay story, but it's the kind of stuff that you've seen before, like a, a bunch of humans fight pretty much alien. Well, they're not aliens, but they're just different kind of, of humans, I guess you could say. And these humans hate these kind of humans, and it's just like they go all out and try to kill each other, and you're just put in the middle of this, uh, and you're fighting these guys off, you're, you play as a Re, uh, Sev and Rico, but you play as Sev and Rico, you can get uh, someone for co-op to play as him, and you just go through all this stuff, and really, it didn't make much sense to me, because I didn't play Killzone 2, and I I don't remember shit from Killzone 1, I remember Killzone 1 had a completely different protagonist, so I was like, okay, uh, and I was like, where, where, where the hell is the protagonist? <laughs> But anyway, I thought the story wasn't that great. I'm not going to really explain it. Go search it up, really. I'm, I'm terrible at explaining stories, and I don't have that much time to do this anyway. So, story, I didn't really care for all that much. Let's go on to the sound. Okay, now the sound in Killzone 3 is amazing. I'll just say right here. You have a whole bunch of voiceovers for all the characters in this game. You get some uh, new uh, uh, faces for the game. Malcolm McDowell plays a bad guy in the role. Ooh, Malcolm McDowell is a bad guy. He's a villain, but... Guess what? He's really good in this. Like, he's usually good in everything he's done. Uh, Ray Winstone uh, plays Beowulf in the game, or uh, Admiral Orlock. Uh, he, he he talks just like Beowulf. If you've seen Beowulf, then you know he's the voice and uh, the the motion cap for Beowulf in the Beowulf movie. And Ray Winstone's a great actor, and he's great in this, even though he really just sounds like Beowulf. And the sound design is amazing, really. Everything sounds awesome. The other voice acting is good, too, from the two main characters, Sev and Rico. They're pretty good. But overall, just the voice acting is fantastic. The sound design is really just amazing. Like, you'll be in the middle of a battle, and just shit is going down. But buildings are crumbling. You just hear all this crazy shit. It is like Battlefield Bad Company 2, maybe a little less than that, you know, because in Battlefield Bad Company 2, I mean, it was really like miles away, you'd hear explosion, which was crazy, and this one, not really like that, because the multiplayer and all also the other battles in the game aren't that far-reaching, but still, oh, a great sound design and a great voice acting, really, really, really top-notch stuff. So let's go on to the graphics. The graphics in the game are amazing. <laughs> I'll just say right here. Just like Killzone 2, even though there's not that many colors going on. Like, I I always say, like, oh, yeah, it's a great-looking game, except there's only, like, two different kind of colors in the game. You know, the, the color scheme in the game is not that great, but it's still a really good-looking game. There's a lot of places, like, you'll be in a snowy uh, mountaintop, and it looks amazing. You'll just fly over a mountaintop, and it looks unreal. The character models are amazing. Malcolm McDowell's character, I keep looking at him, and they always have close-ups of him. I'm like, damn, man, he's so detailed. And just overall, the, the graphics are amazing. The special effects, like the explosions and the gunfire, and just the guns themselves all look great. Um, like I said, the character models are good. Uh, some of them are a little jaggedy here and there. Like, I noticed, like, the mouth movements sometimes looked a little weird. Like, it, it, it fit perfectly with the actual voiceover. But, you know, maybe, the, I don't know, this might sound weird, but the lip didn't look right or something like that. You know, just some little details here and there. And when you're in a close-up and you see someone's mouth moving and their mouth looks all deformed, then you're like, okay, that kind of takes me out of it. But that's only sometimes. And that's not even for, for a specific character. That's like once or twice between each character or something like that. And that's really the only complaint I have for the graphics. The graphics are amazing. The environments look great. The character models are still fantastic. And overall, one of the best looking games I've seen in a little while, actually. You know, Dead Space 2 was great. <laughs> Bulletstorm was great. I think this, this is a little bit better than that. So there you go, PS3 fanboys. The game is amazing looking. Let's go on to the gameplay. Okay, now the gameplay in Killzone 3 is obviously the most important part of the game. And I'll just say right here, I didn't like Killzone 1, and I kind of like Killzone 2, just not all that much. I mean, it was it was an okay game, I didn't really care for it all that much. But I'll say it right here, this game is, re it, it is fun, but I have a few problems. My main problem is the multiplayer. Like, I'll talk about the campaign in a minute, but the multiplayer is my main problem, really. It just isn't all that fun. I mean, it it is fun in doses, but when you play longer than 30 minutes, at least for me, I didn't really care for it. And there's some parts in it that I just hate. Like, most of the maps in the game, at least all the maps I've played so far, are like, there's like four maps I've played, and they're all like freaking snow levels, and they're so annoying because the game, when you're, you're in snow, I mean, it looks beautiful, but, you know, snow is very bright and white. 
And when you're trying to kill people with a headshot with the PS Move controller, holy crap, you can't do it. You can't do it because it's so freaking bright, it's blinding you, and you can't see anything. Also, the PS Move controls are pretty good. I'm just going to say right there, it, it's pretty good. But when you're getting blinded, I guess they're not. Uh, and just some of the stuff, like the guns are, you know, the obvious kind of guns, assault rifles, uh, shotguns. Uh, there's some cool ones in there, like a, a particle one that you can shoot at enemies and they'll burst into, like, little particles. But I don't, I don't even know if that's in multiplayer, but those are some of the weapons. There's some really cool ones. But overall, you get snipers, of course, also. Uh, but overall, the multiplayer is just not that great. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, but it's just not for me. And I've played this so many times that... Really, I could just pick up any game that I have for two or three years, like, that is two or three years old, and if it still has a community, it's pretty much the same thing, really, except maybe less less beautiful graphics, but at least I won't be blinded by bright snow. But I will say this. The campaign is really, really fun. That's where you get a lot of these guns. I don't know if you actually get some of these guns at a, in the multiplayer, but a lot of these guns are really fun, like the particle one. You get, obviously, the snipers and the shotguns and the... The assault rifles and a whole bunch of other cool things like jetpacks. You get to go in mechs. You get to go in a, a a a car that has a has blades as wheels. So you're just like running around. I mean, you're uh, driving around on the snow mountain with blade wheels and you're shooting people. with also that have has blade wheels and it's just it's it's a lot of fun. The campaign is really really fun. The story's not great. I'll keep saying that, but the campaign is a lot of fun and the shooting feels really good. It feels much better than Killzone 2. Maybe I should gave Killzone 2 more of a chance. I only played maybe an hour, hour and a half of that game, and I had so many other games to play because I got that for Christmas that I was like, eh, I'm not going to play this anymore. So maybe I should give Killzone 2 another chance, but overall, I did really enjoy Killzone 3. It was a good game. Multiplayer, not so much, but for a rental for me, hell, I thought it was a pretty fun game. So overall, it was surprising that I actually really liked Killzone 3. The campaign's great, the multiplayer's okay. Overall, Killzone 3 is a good game. Check the uh, description for the written review and the score. Thank you and goodbye.